Hey Steve, okay, so I have your 6105 here doing 6105 things. It's an interesting mix, interesting mix, but first let's talk about the numbers. Uh, here we go, which I'm sure you're probably familiar with anyway, seeing as you're with Raven watches. Well, it's relatively clean. Relatively clean, pretty straight, only a little bit of beat error. Holding steady so far for amplitude. Uh, I think this is going to drop pretty much because this thing I have it up to full power and I, I poked at the mainspring barrel which is which was pretty worn. I bet this is going to drop into the well in the 70s probably if we sat here and watched it long enough. Uh, but I'm not really that's not really necessary. Uh, the signal's pretty clean and it looks like the the wheels and the pivots are probably going to be pretty decent. Um, hey, look at that. It went up. Hmm. That's nice. Okay, so let's see what the heck is going on. This is a cool watch. It's unusual. Cosmetically, externally, it's not really that worn. Um, internally, I was surprised to see, because I looked at the case back. I, case back is one of the first things I ever look at. And when I see a case back like this, that's relatively speaking so unworn with still with some of the circular brushing lines, clean flat surfaces I'm like ah oh, this watch didn't have a lot of miles but it did it had a ton of miles a lot of activity um so much so that your lower mainspring armor port is totally worn out uh so much so that the whole mainspring barrel is tipping over you can see this line of brassing if we that whole thing is flailing around if you look at the screw head here you can definitely see that no, I don't even need to do that. The line of brassing tells us that. Um, so that's pretty gnarly. Um, but I've seen worse, and thankfully I can repair it. So that's not a huge, huge deal. Um, the dial is lovely. Lovely dial. I mean, you've only got a couple little marks on it. There's some right here, a few right there, but nothing major. Your hand loom is janked up but that's pretty normal but the metal's good which is nice in fact the metal is good in all three hands if it were me if this were my watch um i would say probably hang on just one second if this were my watch i would honestly i because the metal is so nice i would strip this handset out and i would relume it with my vintaloom which matches this dial um it would match this dial perfectly uh, just to give you an example, this here, that is my Ventilum. These hands are my Ventilum. I just redid this because the loom on this hand, this watch was black. So we can see how it looks. And it has the same glow as original loom, which is quite decent. So I am, that's a product I'm happy to endorse. I wouldn't touch this pip, I'd leave that be. Your insert is good. Hacking works. Crown sort of locks. It feels like your, well, your crown isn't sitting down all the way. I can see that. Your crown isn't sitting down all the way. And also, okay, so your crown has a little bit of play right here. And also the edge of this crown is worn away a little bit. And I'll bet you anything that that crown, the locking post is also a bit worn. So if I take this and I, machine down the stem just a hair uh, when I'm busy rebuilding this we might be able to get this to lock more effectively maybe oh, that's a nice watch yeah like I said I mean the metal's good the metal on the hands is good and that for me is a that's a prime opportunity to just relume the handset because it'll look like nothing happened it'll glow to the same amount as the dial and it will be the same daylight color and then it will be believe me much improved so if this were my watch, service, case rebuild with seals, rebuild the crown, reloomed the handset with Vintaloom to match the dial, repair the mainspring arbor ports, uh, definitely the bottom, probably top and bottom with jewels. And, but that would really, that would be it. I think that would be it. I think that would get the job done for us. But you let me know. Okay, thank you so much.